Welcome back, ladies and gents, for the next session of what in the world will Arthur do today? We ended the last uh, session standing on the cliff side, uh, cliff edge right there, and it looked like it was going to rain, but as you can see, upon loading back in for this session, that it's completely clear. And let's look at the map. This time I'm going to scroll all the way out and make sure I'm not missing anything. Other than the uh, gunslingers. And what is this? I'm thinking that's probably Javier because I think that's the only one that starts with a J. No, John. Oh, yeah, I forgot. To, he, him standing by a tree over there wants to do... Hello, there Tilly. She is. Let's look at the camp food. Okay, the camp food looks good. They need some... I'm still not certain that the camp uses the medicine. I've not seen any of them attempt to take any medicine. Or bullets. Grimshaw yelling it. Sounds like uncle. No. Reverend. You a man of a cloth. Away with you. Do you hear me? Chow's up. Chow's up. Oh yeah, it is afternoon. Uh, evening almost. Let's take some of that and then go talk to John. Although I'm going to stop by the, the, uh, I'm going to see if I can buy some bullets, some ammo for the camp. I don't know if I have, well, let me see how much it's going to cost first, because I don't think I have enough money. At least I'll have a goal in mind. All right, it's going to cost 60 bucks to get more ammo. All right, now's a good time, I think. I'm going to go ahead and test this theory if it'll pull all of the camp funds and then take the remaining balance out of my pocket. I realize I'm not going to get the honor upgrade, but I need to test this to see if it works that way, so let's see. Then, not so well, my guess. And mine. Quality and quality emission. All right, so 25 and 81 still. Let's see if that's going to change. Yes, it did. Okay, now the camp is at zero, and I'm at 47. All right, now let's go talk to John. Sadie's actually engaging in conversation with the boys. Oh, no, that's Abigail talking. Trust me. Jack's going to be fine. You'll be fine. If we can only get old... John, to see it a little sense, we might be able to make a proper family. There's room you here. <laughs> you want to sit? <laughs> we both know that ain't going to happen. You never know. <laughs> I said in the in the last episode that Sadie seemed to so be turned... what about your family? My family, well, you know. They all died long ago. I guess I'm kind of getting ready to be reunited only I fear my dear Bessie went to heaven while I'll be heading south isn't that so Arthur I reckon all of us is heading that way at least we won't be lonely <laughs> <laughs> away with the pair of you <laughs> <coughs> yep. Sadie's saying something but I can't hear it I think she said you're all good and Arthur said yep I don't think, I mentioned in the last session that she seems to be turning a corner and she's not as negative as she was before or not as down as she was before. And I think this is the first time I've seen her sitting with the, you know, sitting with a group of people. At least the first time I remember noticing it. So maybe she has turned a corner. 
after losing her home and her husband. You smell. It's cologne. Cologne. It's liquor. Liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? Happiness. Happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what John has. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Oh Bridge, yeah, just south of the state border. I remember yes. that. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on, at night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the oh, that looks like they he's got Arthur's it. attention. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Hmm. Uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. <laughs> you go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I Honey know do list. Place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. North of the border of what? Wagons that can be stolen for John are blipped. Oh, yeah, at that kerosene place. Tar and kerosene, I think it's called. Oh, yeah, kerosene and tar. All right, then. I guess we're going to go steal a wagon. All right. Forty nine degrees. Arthur. I don't want to talk to him. How are you? At this time. Is that my horse? There's Hello, my horse. Jose. You well? I also want to I, <clears throat> in addition to saving up money or gathering money for the there, upgrade to camp some more, I did mention I I pointed out I noticed maybe the last episode or the one before that how small the horse looks compared to Arthur and it it is bothering me now so I want to also get a new horse yeah. and I'm still I'm still frustrated that in a previous session I found what I thought was a nice horse and I was messing around with another horse, and when I turned around, that horse was gone, so I did, did not get a chance to get him. Let's go this way. I think this leads back to the same... Yeah. So I... If I see it, another horse, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to try to take it immediately. I like a bigger horse. Oh, he's coming this way. Uh, let me pull off to the side so that on my way there, look at these challenges. Oh yeah, animal species tracked. I still don't know how to do this. I'm going to try again, but I've killed four animals in Deadeye, and it hasn't registered. Let's look for... 
This wagon just stopped up here. There's something in the road? Oh yeah, there's a guy on a horse in front of him, blocking him. See that heat? I don't know if you can see that, but see that heat haze is what I'm calling it? And it's 46 degrees. There shouldn't be a heat haze. Let me go see what this is. I want to see what this is over here. <clears throat> I think I've... I may have mentioned this before, or I may have not, but I think anytime you see... Oh, get out of that palmetto and cactus. Anytime you see these evidence of a campfire, that means there's, there's something going on there. There's a camp there of some sort. Some kind of interaction. Maybe good or bad. I get the impression this is going to be bad. Seems like most people don't even want to chat with you when they're in camp. Yep. Your type of my damn pitch. He does What is this over me. here? Yep. Have I looked at this before? There's a dead body, or I don't know, a human or an animal. I don't think I've looked at this before. Let's look at this on the way to get a. <laughs> It'll be dark soon, and I think dark would be the best time to try to steal something from that place. It's obviously an old oil well. Oh, inspect. Arthur drew that frog, that toad from the last episode. What's in this wagon, if anything? Doesn't appear like it. Doesn't seem to be anything in it. Oh, it is a human body. And rats. Let's see what he's got on him. Maybe something to tell us what happened here. Letter from Cornwall. Now, I'm going to just guess right off the bat that this guy is an independent fella just out here drilling. Cornwall is a big conglomerate type who says thinks he owns everything and tries to drive all the little guys out of business. And I bet this letter says, I told you to stop or else. And that's how he died. Let's take a look. That's just guessing, because that's the way it, things work. Dear Mr. Varley, it is very regrettable that you have rejected a very extreme gener yep, generous purchase offers presented to you by Cron Cornwell, kerosene and tar. Mr. Cornwall has obligingly consented to allow you a grace period of a further three weeks to reconsider your position. We strongly advise you to do so. After that, I would be very concerned about a company of your size being able to continue to compete on price in the state of New Han Hanover and a secure, acceptable rates for railroad transportation. We look forward to hearing that that storm made me pause for a moment. We look forward to hearing from you soon and, as always, wish you best and good fortune in all your endeavors. Yours faithfully, Cameron Spence, Vice President Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Cornwall had him killed because he's trying to make money and Cornwall's not getting any of it. That's how things operated back then. And to some extent today, it's just more done through the courts than uh, just actually killing people. I'm still worried about tornadoes because I'm out in the open. Well, I guess I could go, go down in that mine. Or the, uh, well, it's not a mine, is it? Maybe there's nothing to go down into. I'll look in a minute. Inspect the lock. Where's the lockbox? Oh, there it is. Oh, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to inspect the lockbox. Turn around. There you go. Is it going to get colder with the rain? 44. It's dropped 2 degrees. Alright, canned vegetable is the only thing that's in there. Cannot carry any more of that. Looks like some 
tonic over here. All right, elixir. That's what I want to take immediately. That upgrades my... Oh, I've got two. How do I have two of them? Health experience. I don't know where I got the other one from. I don't remember. All right, level six. How much of that? I think the... First. 50% level 6 and now 75. So each one is 25% to the next level. And is there any... Yeah, there's a... Uh, is that tobacco or coffee? We'll take the coffee. Just sell it. Got to buy me a horse and uh, upgrade the camp. Oh, it's already 10 o'clock. Anything else here that interests me? Oh, I see a ladder down there. I guess I can go down here. That looks more like coal than the oh <laughs> dinosaur bone in here. <laughs> that didn't that ladder. I thought he was just going to automatically climb down that ladder. Instead, he just I stepped him over the edge. Two. All right. So it is. Two of 30. Is there anything else down here? See, that, that looks more like coal. So he was, it says an oil rig. But yeah, oil Derek, but I'm not so sure, but I think that's coal. All right, let's go. This I think this uh, storm is going to help me. Help conceal me. So let's see if I can get over there. I think it's over here somewhere. Maybe not. Let me check the map. It is... Oh. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. See if I can get there as soon as I can. It's already, what, 11.30. What in the world? Green lights? I've never noticed that before. I don't know if I've ever been over here at night before. <clears throat> I see a lot of petroleum in my adventures here in New Mexico and driving across Texas and I don't I've never seen any of them burning with a green light you know they they burn off some sort of I don't know the whole process but they burn off some some gas as a result of doing what they're doing and you can see the flame for miles away but I've never seen them being green unless that's some kind of a lantern Easy now. oh those are actually lights I thought that was just the excess, the vented gases being burned. All right, let's see about these wagons. I only need one. Looks like there's two of them. 12.30. Historically, 3 a.m. is the best time to do stuff, shenanigans at night. It's when the natural ebb and flow of the human cycle is at its lowest but I doubt that has anything to do with this game no I can see guards over there and it's not particularly dark either <laughs> now that the storm is over doggone it I should have came earlier I look like tobacco almost said rabbit tobacco but Indian tobacco Rabbit tobacco is what some of my friends used to smoke when they were teenagers because they couldn't afford to buy tobacco, or it was illegal. They just pick it, and it was called rabbit tobacco. I don't know what it actually was, but that's what they called it, rabbit tobacco. I, I don't smoke. All right, let's see. I can obviously that wagon there glistening has got a barrel on the back of it, so that's one of them. Yeah. I wonder, you know, I, something occurred to me. Huh. 
Oh, there we go. That's what I want. I don't know if this makes a difference, but he's got a bandana. And I remember when we initially was trying to rob the train with Dutch that he said, you know, everybody put your bandanas on. So let's give it a try. That way, if I'm caught, maybe they won't know it's me. Although, how many, how many cowboys are dressed like this with two gold firearms? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this fella. I, oh, I know what to do with him. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to go back to my horse. Wait a minute. Have my horse come to me. If I use the bow, will it be silent? Or was that just for the... I mean, it says... And uh, when I was using it before, by following the scripted missions, it always mentioned to be silent by using your bow. So let's see if that actually makes a difference. I think for now, these two items, that and the double-barreled shotgun... Mm. No, I'd rather go for something that has some range. I'm not close enough to the horse. I guess the carbine repeater then. Shh, be quiet, be quiet. Brownie. Now let's see what we can do here. Well, he's on. Look at there. If you didn't know he was there, what is that? No, no, no. Don't follow me. Stay. Stay here. What was that? A badger, maybe. I was going to say, if you didn't know that fellow was here, you wouldn't have seen him in the darkness there. Oh, I think that was wrong. There's a guy coming over from the right. I should have shot this dude when he was... The other guy was moving. Ah, oh, see? Look at that. Back up, back up, back up. There's going to be a racket in for this. I can't not see for the thing bushes. Nothing yet. I'm going to lay you down! Alright, I got to grab them. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, horses. This was a mistake on my part. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. Run that wagon down. Run that wagon down. Yeah, I see, I made a mistake. When I shot that dude, the guard from the right-hand gate there was moving towards him, so he saw him. And I should have shot the dude. I just didn't notice the guy because of the fence that he was walking back towards. Come on, dude. Don't stop. Gosh darn. Well, maybe this is actually working out. Because it's not red behind me anymore. And here's the wagon. Surely that's not that easy. Okay, I guess it is because the prompt just popped up to where I need to go. Come on, horse. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be, actually. Just... Thank goodness the horse ran away. The wagon ran outside that... If they had stayed there, that would have been a lot harder to do. To, to complete. And apparently they just gave up immediately because there's no more red. There's no one following me. So the only thing I lost out of that was two arrows. Not bad, I'd say. Well, you go... See how they automatically... Move to get in front of you? Why would he do that? Why would the... I still don't understand. I mean, I, I guess I know why they did it, but it makes no sense to me for them to program all NPCs to intentionally move directly in front of you. It's just an unnary, un, 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 unnecessary obstacle to the player. Watch this guy. Is he going to move in front of me? Woo, thank goodness he did not. Still no guards or people around there because I've already discovered the secret. That's my theory and I'm sticking with it. I think, I, I think there better be a road to the right up here soon. Yeah, there it is.
Oh, I can't see what time it is. All right, hang on. I don't know if I need to go left or right here. Is that it? No, that's Emerald Ranch. Oh. I guess go left. I think either way would be fine, but this looks like a more direct route. What are these fellas gonna do? I guess this is it right here. It's awful close to the stable though. Right. That was more or less painless. Yeah. Well, it was painless. Not more or less, it was painless. Tell John back at camp the wagon is in position, all right? Deliver the wagon drop off in one minute, 45 seconds. Uh, I wonder when that timer starts. Does it start from the moment you get on the wagon? Okay, then, girl. Does it start from the moment you yeah. have any interaction with the guards there? Interesting question. Oh, look at the wagon tracks. That's very good. All right, what else is around here? Since we are up here. <clears throat> Nothing, I guess. Fort Wallace. Fort, I guess, and that's a... I was going to say army base, but maybe a, a, in this time frame a cavalry base, which is still the army, but you know what I mean. All right. Let's head back, see what John has to yeah. say about that. And... There we go. Since I'm not in a rush at the moment, let's look at these deer over here. See if it's a type of deer I may not have seen before and if I can track them. Whitetail deer. It says track. All right. How many do I have? Seven. I only need three. Let's see if... I I'm, I know I've done this. I'm pretty sure I've done a whitetail deer before, but I'm going to give it a shot. Will you quit with that damn Mexican garbage? I heard a... Where did they go? Yep. Oh, they're still coming. Okay, then. All right, let's see if that counted first. I had seven. No, it didn't. Yeah, I'd already done that before. Well, I've got another idea. Keep clear. We got dangerous foreigner here. Okay. Oh, por favor. Necesito ayuda. Help. Voy a matar ustedes dos. Hey. I don't know what she did. I don't know the situation. Oh, but I tell you what, the way she said you're making a big mistake sounded like a threat to me. It didn't sound like, oh, I'm not the right person. You got the wrong. It sounded more like a threat. So in this, I don't know more than that, just what I heard in that conversation. So I'm, oh, I got my, <laughs> that could have been bad. All right, I'm thinking if I come down here by this creek, uh, I'm sorry, the stream, that I might see some, you know, animals tend to congregate around water. But I might see some there's some I think that's birds though something moving over there yeah eagles let's take a moment to move along this stream bed a study so I haven't seen this one before let's see if I can if it will let me track, yeah. Let's try to track this. American pronghorn buck. It gave me the option to study, so I'm guessing I have not seen it before. Although I think I have. But we'll see if it registers. And as it's doing, I noticed that... Is that a squirrel? The way it's hopping, it looks like a squirrel over there. Did that count? Ameri yeah, I think that counted. Okay, 8 of 10. Let's see if I can... 
get that no that the deer is gonna block my view of the squirrel all right let's look some more because oh easy easy I don't know that I've tracked no I haven't coyotes this should give me nine a lot of flies over that body See how the horse moves and rocks with you? Very difficult to shoot when you're on the horse. Nine. All right, one more. I probably should have went down near some water earlier to do this. Probably that big lake that's over there. Probably could have just went along the shoreline of it and got everything I needed. Where's it? Here. Just keep looking. Although, I need to go in the opposite direction. That's where Camp and John is at. <clears throat> one coyote chasing another one away. Let me get to the other side because I think these trees are going to block my view. Oh, horse, come on. Okay, that was my fault. I thought that horse would jump automatically. Now I know it won't. Maybe I can see some squirrels from this side. Oh, what is that? Easy. Badger? I don't think I'm going to be able to... Yeah, he's going to get lost. Oh, is that... Oh, boars. I know I haven't seen any boars before. At first, I thought that was buffalo. Oh, let's see if I can track. Re new reinforced equipment. Visit the trapper for person for information about the trapper. I think that tree's blocking me, and I can't move my horse while I'm in this view. Let's try this one. He's not moving right now. I just need this one boar. Oh, that boar is taking a dump. Come on. I just need this one boar to click. Don't move away from me. Oh, I think it, yeah, did it take? Yeah, it did. So I've got a new one that says, zero five clean animal kills after using a call. Easy. Okay, well, look, I'm right here. I, that boar I was looking at was a three-star boar, right? So you, I believe it means you can use his pelt for crafting. Where did he go? Right there. I'm too far away to call, though. Where is my scent? Oh, it's going... Eh, okay. We're going to go this way. Can I get down here without mucking it up? Yep. Oh, now I can't. I need to get higher. Okay. I made a mistake of coming down. Let me go back up. Come on. Come on, Arthur. You can do it. Where are they? I realized that the stream bed is lower and I couldn't see the animals from down there. So I need to get stay up here high ground. Okay, where are they? What is that? A beaver? A muskrat again. All right, is that him? That's not the one that's got the good. That's not the one. There he is. Oh, I'm still too far away to call. Doggone it. Now, I can't get down there without making noise or alerting these other animals. Let me go back in this direction. Let's try this. Easily scramble down here. I think I can manage this. He's coming closer. Still, oh, now, now. Call. Boom! Ha ha! One of five clean animal kills after using call. That's the way it works. Call the horse. Also, this will allow me... Let me look at my f food. I don't think this is... This is, wouldn't be big game or venison, but maybe just cooked game meat. I've already got four or five. Let me see if I can... Oh, wait. Was that cooked? Yeah, that's already cooked. 
Let me see if I just didn't want to waste any meat. Skin this bad boy. Perfect boar pelt, four tender pork loin, and animal fat. All right. Now, all I need to do is do that four more times That's on the way back. Let's go off-road a bit. Just head in this direction. I think that muskrat was not pristine. Yeah, he's only two stars. Not coyote. Fox, that's a fox. I'm gonna study him. There's only two stars. I think it's not worthwhile. It's probably unless you're just shooting them for food. It's not worthwhile to shoot anything that's not a three star. Because the pelts can't be used from what I I believe what, what seems to be the case cannot be used for crafting if they're not three star. So I'm not going to shoot any animal unless it's a three star pelt, unless I'm just shooting it for food. Aha, uh -huh, white tailed deer. Because food doesn't matter. I mean, you can get food from them regardless. Call. All right, that should be number two. Yeah. What is going on? Why did you stop like that so sudden, horse? You scared of the kill, maybe? Maybe the horse doesn't like the blood? I don't know. You would think by now she'd be used to it. All right, perfect deer pelt, four mature venison. All right, so three more animals. And in this case, it doesn't matter. I can I'll shoot all deer. They just need to be killed with the call because it didn't specify different species or anything like the previous uh, challenge. So I see some deer over here. I believe these might be horses. Yeah, these are horses. Although, to be fair, that one right there looks like a cow, but I, I'm sure it's not a cow. Yeah, it's a horse. <laughs> at any rate, let me look at him, because if there's one there that's bigger than the one I have... Whoa, easy. Look at that thing. Kentucky Saddler. Are they all going to be Kentucky Saddlers? Thoroughbred, Tennessee Walker. I think, I think that Thoroughbred was the one that I saw earlier and was gonna try to get, and I missed him. Wasn't it Thoroughbred? Let me look at that thing again. Oh, he's running away now. Okay, well. I don't particularly like the way it looked anyway. Let's put these up. Pardon my sneeze. I think I hit the uh, mute button soon enough. If I did not, I apologize. Is this the tree where we found the, the bottles and the gold nugget? I don't know. This is, it looks like a different tree. I want to take a moment to uh, remind anyone watching this that as my description of my channel says, I'm low key, uh, like to take my time doing things. I'm not flashy. I like to enjoy a game and not rush through it. And I do recognize that very few people enjoy that style of gameplay. 
I think, what is this guy doing? I think it's a generational thing uh, because most, I think, oh, this year the, the uh, almost said fly catchers. Have I got this before? Nope. Uh, I think most go. people that game these days are, what is he doing? He's hunting something. Or just trying to rush through as many games as possible, but I buy a game, I might play it for 10 years. Uh, it's just the way I am. I don't, I don't, I don't value myself based on how many games I have completed. <laughs> and I play games to enjoy them. Enjoy the experience, not as a bragging tool. So just be aware if you're going to... Whoa, whoa, steady there. I'll scare away my dinner. Okay. Just be aware if you're watching me, it's not It's not going to be fast action. It's not going to be yelling and screaming. It's not going to be acting like a fool. It's going to be playing a game that I enjoy. And even though I have... There are some things about this I don't like. Yes, it's. I know where you are. Is that a wolf? No, it's coyote. He's gonna shoot a coyote. Oh, good hit! Did you see that? Yes, I did. That was a good hit. Good shot placement. But I'm. Oh no, no, sorry, that's not my horse. Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Whoo! That was close. Oh, see, he's mad at me. I got on the wrong horse. Doggone it! I didn't mean to. That was, a, that was a legitimate accident. That horse looked like he was coming to me, following me, and I thought it was mine. All right. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. Is he still shooting at me? He's still shooting at something. I am sorry. He's putting up more of a fight than the guards did from that kerosene place. He must be coming after me. And this is as fast as my horse will go. So I can't hunt while I'm being hunted. This goes as fast as I can in the opposite direction of him, I guess. Oh, there we go. Now he's gone. Now I can shoot something. I honestly did not mean to do that. I mean, I think it was obvious by watching I didn't mean to do that. Wait a minute. He's still coming. Yep. Doggone it. I'm gonna have to take care of him, aren't I? And it's gonna Yep. It's gonna impact yep. my Easy now. honor. Let me give this horse some food. Here you go, Brownie. Girl, Classic oak girl. cake. Alright, maybe he stopped now. Now where was all these deer deer that were standing just over here I saw? I saw a whole herd of deer standing over here just a moment ago. I know I'm trying to avoid them, Brownie. Oh, what what is that? Is that a snake? Where did it go? There it is. I mean, there's the evidence of it. And these are some berries. I think I've already eaten these. I'm going to see if I can get this snake. Look at this horses right there. One's laying down frolicking. Unknown animal. I know it's a snake. Where did it go? Oh, wow. These snakes, snakes move very fast, don't they? I have yet to lay eyes on it, though. I'm only seeing it. I can only see it's. Oh, it's moving to the left. There it is, right there. What is it? A rattlesnake. And it's a diamondback, and it's three star. Okay, this is. I'm guessing this is. Let me look. I think this is probably going to be a small game arrow. A bow with small game arrow, yeah. Because it's, I mean, the snake is pretty small. This kind of snake compared to other animals. All right, we want a small game arrow. And then where did he go? There he is, right there. 
Oh, this unless he stops again, this is gonna be very difficult. Where is my I don't know Okay, keep going to the left. I confess, I know snakes sniff the air, but I don't know if it's a factor in hunting them. Because, uh, to be honest, I've never hunted a snake before. <laughs> I mean, I've killed snakes, but I've never actively hunted one. Oh, I think he just, he just spotted me. Yeah, this is going to make it much more difficult. I just need him to stop and coil. Maybe if I get close enough to him, he'll do that. Got to be careful, though. They're stopping these plants, and you'll walk up on them. No, he went to the right. All right, stop and coil, stop and coil. There you go. Stop, stop, stop. Get ready to strike. Boom. Did I get my arrow back? Nope. Oh, it stayed. All right. Got me a diamondback rattlesnake skin. And two str Look at that. I thought that was my <laughs> I thought that was my horse. <laughs> Come on, Brownie. I wonder if I could have I didn't even look to see because I was too engrossed in trying to shoot him with the bow, but I wonder if I could have did I have the option to call the snake? I don't think that I don't think a snake would have that option, would it? I just wasn't paying attention. I was too I wasn't looking at the right bottom right of my screen. Just wanted to make sure I got the shot on that snake in the head. All right, I just need... There's a... Can I get close enough to call this one? I think I need to get off the horse. Where is my scent going? Uh, let's go this way. get close enough to call that coyote and will I be able to see him since he's going over a ridge slight rise there oh yeah move around move around move around look at me look at me buddy oh that was terrible oh he's not interested not particularly shy is he is that... Did he stop right there? No. He kept going. All right. You know what? He deserves to live. I, I, I missed the shot. He deserves to live. I'm not going to track him. We're almost back at camp at any rate. There's a rabbit. I I don't know if you could call rabbits either. What did that bird just pick up? I saw a bird just swoop down on something right there. At least I thought I did. Maybe it was just a dead... Maybe the bird was just landing. I thought, surely, is that a, a eagle? or He's eating something. It's a hawk. The birds swoop down and catch animals? I'd like to see that. Let's see about these deer. If I can call one of them. Not close enough. All right, now I need my horse to stay put. Stay, girl. I'm in a good position. We'll move a little further up. Just need to be close enough. The rifle can reach out. I just need to be close enough to initiate the call. And I, there we go, right there. Boom. We'll take that skin. I don't think I have room for the meat. Yeah. Looks like those deer just stopped right there short of the... 
railroad tracks. Might be able to get one more. I think this is... Well, I'll check. I don't know if this is three or four. I think I only needed five. Yeah, this is three. So I need two more. I'm wondering why that guy on the horse is traveling so slow. Let's head up here. Get a better view of the area. I just need two more deer. There's a buck over there. Let's see if I can get up here high enough and we don't scare him off. Let's stop the horse from following me. Stay, Stay put. Get the rifle back out. My scent's heading right at him, so we need to keep moving left while staying on high ground. I think this little rise is going to mess me up here. Let's see. How did I miss that deer? I, I hit that deer. I think the, the game's collision mechanics had the... The bushes, the, the shrubbery there, whatever it was, blocking me. But I shot directly at that deer in the neck, just below the head. A replay will verify that. But I think the game mechanics refused to let me hit it because it said uh, my vision was blocked. What is that? A dead deer? All right, come on, just two more deer. Yeah, I realized I said I was going to go talk to John, but time is short, so I figured I'd, I don't think I have time to do that mission. So I'm just going to continue to hunt until I get the last two animals or time runs out. Is that something down there? I think that's a rock. Is that it? What is that? Oh, it is a rock. Okay, as I get closer, it starts rendering better. No, that, is that a rock? What is that? It's a horse. Oh. Wow. Okay. There's a deer over yonder. I thought I saw another. A fox. Can't study him. It's too far. Let's try the binoculars. I don't know what he's running from. That's a two-star fox. I don't want to shoot him just for the sake of shooting him. If I can't use him for anything. The pelt. I, I realized I'd get meat and a pelt, but it just wouldn't be substantial. So there's no point in shooting him. I guess the one thing that is not really apparent at first is but everywhere there's it looks like you're out away from the road but everywhere there's a road because the roads curve around so much so it's difficult to find animals that are not startled by something somewhere you know what I should have brought my dog on where's the horse I need to bring my uh, varmint rifle <clears throat> Is my horse moving? No. There we go. At least it looks like it's moving. Come on, Brownie. There you are. Give me my varmint rifle. See that? Yep, yep, yep. Get up, get, give me, give me. He's got a snake. Oh, no, I, I would have sworn he was carrying a snake. I don't see one now, though. Maybe he got too far and he wasn't rendering. But I, I'm almost, I thought I saw a snake. I'm not going to say I'm almost positive, but I thought I saw he was carrying a snake. There's the bar rifle. That would be nice to see. All 
All right, let's look for some rabbit. I just don't know if you can call a rabbit. Seems like they move at any little noise, so I think if you called at them, they might run. But we'll see. I'll give it a try. Looking for any signs of rabbit activity. Again, there's a road right there. See, there's a rabbit. Is there another? And I'll shoot a deer if I see one, but there's more rabbits here, it seems like, than there are deer in a, where I'm at at the moment. He went way down there. Look at that buck. Let me get back to my rifle because there's a buck right there, and he's a three-star buck. And, of course, my scent is headed right at him. Let's move around to his right, our left. I cannot call yet. Too, oh, look at that over there. All right, focus. This is what I'm here for. I'm still too far to call him? Wow. This is pretty close if you ask me. I should be able to call this dude by here, by now, because that's really close. Maybe, have I not? No, I got, oh, look at that, look at that. See that tail up alerting others of uh, danger? But look, I was close enough that I should have been able to call that deer. There's no reason I was... Well, I can see, see, that deer is sort of in bushes. Even though I have a clear sight of it, the game doesn't think I can see it. Where did they go? I should have been able to call him. I'm calling shenanigans. That, was, that should have worked. As close as I was. went too far. I'm not going to chase him. There'll be more game out here. Let's grab the this rifle. Varmint rifle. I want to go up and see what that smoke is, what that camp is up there, but I want to get this last pronghorn. Fox is two. That's the same fox I saw earlier, I guess. It's only a two-star. I'd like to get this challenge completed in the short time I have left, which I'm not going to. I'm down to less than a minute, about a minute. I think in the very first episode, it was long because I had so many forced cutscenes and so many missions that you were forced to partake in. So I couldn't, I couldn't stop in the middle of them. So it had to be long. But then I realized, for some reason, I kept trying to make really long, you know, like hour and a half video, hour and forty-two minutes, and it just takes too long to upload. So I'm trying to limit these to one hour max, you know, 105 if I need be, but trying to limit the to one hour is my goal. Up, oh, those are horses, or that is, a, that's a rock, no. It wouldn't glow if it was a rock. What is that? It's another horse. I could just see the very top of its back. 
Well, doesn't look like I'm going to get my next two kills. So when I come back in the next episode, I'll give it a try. Try to complete this and then go talk to John. Ciao.